This video explains how to create a screen overlay in Google Earth and save your work as a KMZ file. A screen overlay is often a maps legend. When you create a screen overlay, it is most commonly placed in the lower left corner of Google Earth. When placed, a screen overlay does not move as you navigate. It remains visible even as users fly to various locations at different scales. In the Google Earth sidebar, on the left side of the Google Earth screen, there are three windows. These are Search, Places, and Layers. For this exercise, we will not be using the Search function, and I have unchecked most of the items in the Layers window in order to simplify the screen. All our efforts will concentrate in the Places window, and specifically within the Temporary Places folder. Let me emphasize here that the Temporary Places folder is the most important working area for this exercise. All your Google Earth work needs to be nested within this folder. If any of your work is nested within the My Places folder, it will not save to a KMZ file and therefore will not be present when you send it to your instructor. Be sure all your work is nested within the Temporary Places folder. We'll need to create a unique graphic file that will become our screen overlay. Adobe Illustrator would be an ideal program for this effort, but because some of you will not have access to the software, we'll use the very simple and free program installed on most PCs, Microsoft Paint. Open MS Paint. Notice that the white screen, which is your graphics dimensions, can be resized by dragging the lower right corner. Notice also that the graphics dimensions in pixels are displayed on MS Paint's bottom bar. Resize this white screen until it is approximately 300 by 200 pixels. From the Home tab, select the text button and then click in the upper left corner of the white screen. Size your font to 24. Type your name, our class, the current semester, and a very brief title of your project. Put each of these four items on a separate text line. For this exercise, I used John Smith as the name, GEG203-001 as the class, Spring 2025 as the semester, and Pacific Coast States as the title. Click the Save button. Navigate to the folder where you want to save your graphic file. Name your file Overlay and select JPEG as the type. It is best not to capitalize the name and be sure to keep the name of your file a single word with no spaces. Placing your recently created graphic as a screen overlay into Google Earth requires you modifying a little bit of code. This code is located at this tutorial website. If you are unfamiliar with coding, don't worry. You do not need to learn coding in order to make your screen overlay appear. Open a text editing program such as Notepad, MS Word, or Google Docs. Copy the code from the tutorial website and paste it into the text editing program. Now you are ready to make some modifications. There are two things you need to modify with this code. The first is the information between the name markers. This information can be anything. For our purposes, let's rename this My Legend. The second thing to modify is the information between the href markers. Right now it states your URL.html. It needs to state the location and name of your recently created graphic file. Open the folder in which your overlay is located. Right click on your file and select Properties. Highlight all the text specifying the file's location, right click and select Copy. Return to the text editing program, highlight your URL.html, right click and select Paste. The information between the href markers now specifies the location of your graphic. We still need to specify the name and file type of the graphic. Place a backslash at the end of the href line and type overlay.jpg. 
Now the information between the href markers specifies both the location and name of your recently created graphic file. That's all the information you need to modify. Do not touch any of the other code. Now simply highlight all the code, right click and select copy. Return to Google Earth, right click the temporary places folder and select paste. Your legend appears in the lower left corner of the screen. Now you have a screen overlay or legend in Google Earth. Notice that the screen overlay does not move as you navigate. It remains visible even as you fly to various locations at different scales. To save your work and send it to your instructor, right click the temporary places folder and select save place as. Name your file with your last name. For this exercise, I simply name the file Smith. Again, it is best not to capitalize the name and be sure to keep the name a single word with no spaces. Notice that the Save as Type pull-down menu allows us to save the Google Earth file as a KML or a KMZ. Be sure to select KMZ. This will package your legend graphic within the file and allow it to be sent to your instructor. If you select KML, your legend graphic will not be present when your instructor opens your file.